Now, Action 10 Sonia Hill with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Howdy South Texas. Happy Wednesday to you all. I hope you're all enjoying the midway point of this wonderful week. So we've definitely fallen back into a more typical South Texas summer weather pattern, and that means plenty of sunshine, hot temperatures and breezy conditions. And that's what we're seeing right now across the coastal bend. Most of us are seeing breezy conditions right now in Corpus Christi. We're seeing south southeast winds blowing at 15 miles per hour, and we did see some wind gusts around the area today here in Corpus Christi. We had one that clocked in at 25 miles per hour. Now taking a look at the future tracker for those wind speeds overnight. The winds are going to die down. This is tomorrow at around 830 in the morning. Light winds across the area, but of course, as the day unfolds, the winds will be picking up once again. And right now it looks like our Thursday is going to be a little bit breezier than what we saw today. Now we've been seeing really quiet weather across the state, and that's because high pressure has begun to build in once again. And as we get closer to the end of the week, we're going to have high pressure to our east and to our west, and it's really going to be strange strengthening over the state, and this is going to lead to even drier conditions and even hotter temperatures here in the next couple of days. Now taking a look at the tropics, the Atlantic Basin has been oddly quiet this year, but now we do have a subtropical storm. Say hello to subtropical storm Ernesto moving through the northern Atlantic. He's got winds of 40 miles per hour, and the good news is he is expected to continue tracking north through the North Atlantic, and he is not a threat to a land, especially not a threat to us here in South Texas. However, on the Pacific side, it is a completely different story because the Pacific Basin has been very active this year. And right now there is another tropical storm in the Pacific. Say hello to Tropical Storm Lane with 45 mile per hour winds. Now we're going to continue to very closely monitor Tropical Storm Lane because it looks like he's heading towards Hawaii, just like Hector was. Luckily, Hector moved just south of Hawaii and they didn't see any direct impacts, but it looks like Lane is tracking a little bit further north, so we're definitely going to keep Keep a very close eye on this system as we get closer to the beginning of next week. And tonight here in Corpus Christi, expect a very quiet night. We're going to see plenty of humidity, partly cloudy skies. Expect a low near 78 degrees and southeast winds up to about 15 miles per hour. But let's go ahead and take a live look at Corpus Christi right now. Looking out at Corpus Christi Bay, just yesterday we were seeing hazy conditions along the horizon, but now we're seeing bluer skies because that Saharan dust has finally moved its way out of here. And taking a look at tomorrow, Thursday here in Corpus Christi, very similar to today, also windier than today was. Expect partly cloudy skies, a high near 96 degrees, and southeast winds up to about 20 miles per hour. Well, now it's time for your seven day forecast brought to you by Auto Nation. Get one price pre owned vehicles only at Auto Nation. Every pre owned vehicle they have is clearly marked with just one price. Shop now at AutoNation.com. Now, breaking down our seven day forecast, these next few days are going to be very quiet weather wise. Expect mostly sunny skies and windy conditions for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, breezy becoming windy again for Sunday and Monday. But by next Tuesday, we're going to see less winds, mostly cloudy skies and very warm highs still in the mid 90s. That's all the time for me in the forecast. Drew, back to you. Sonia, thank you.